Hi guys, it's Lee Janeiro. Welcome back to my channel and I would like to welcome all of my new subscribers. Today I want to do a quick tutorial on how to make a cell phone wallet. I've made two versions of it, um, same fabric. One has a magnetic snap on it and the other has the plastic snaps. So in the video I'll be demonstrating the plastic snaps but I will let you know when you need to place the magnetic snap or if you decide to use a snap that so ends I'll let you know in the video where you need to then place those snaps. So I will put all of the measurements in the description box below. Alright so let's get started making this really cute cell phone wallet. Okay so let's talk about the tools you're going to need. Um, you're going to need to make a pattern, so you're going to need some pattern paper. You are going to need a pencil and a ruler to draw out your pattern. Your measurements for your pattern is going to be 16.5 by 8, and I will put this in the description box below. And once you draw out your pattern, from the center of both edges, the 8 inch edge, you're going to measure in 3 and 1 fourth because that's where you're going to put your snap. So the total measurements are going to be 6.5 by 8, six, sorry, 16.5 by 8. And then from the center of both 8 inch ends, you'll measure in 3 and a quarter. I've already made my strap. For your wristlet strap, I actually have a video with a template for you. I will link that information in the description box below um, so you can make your strap. But the strap measurements are going to be 15 by 4 inches and the tab is going to be 2 by 2 inches. And then that video will walk you through how to make your tabs. All right. You're also going to need some fabric. You need um, two pieces of fabric for your main, your outside piece, and your lining piece. You're going to need some woven interfacing, and that will be for your lining, and some fusible fleece, which will be for your main piece. All right? You're going to need your scissors, a marking pen to mark your snap placements. You're going to need some pins. And you're also going to need, if you're using plastic snaps like I am, you're going to need your snap tools. All right. And for your wristlet, you'll need a D-ring. Um, this is one of the uh, key rings that I found in my stash. Um, but you'll need a one inch D-ring or square ring, whichever one you're going to use. All right, once you have your pattern drawn out, Go ahead and cut your fabric again you can use the same piece for the um, main piece and the lining like I'm doing or you can be different and use um, different fabric but you cut out two pieces one lining one main you cut out one fusible fleece and one woven piece of interfacing all right and don't forget to mark your placements on your pattern because you're going to need that um, in a few minutes all right so now Take your main piece and the fusible fleece. Your main piece should have the wrong side facing up. You take your fusible fleece and it has a bumpy side and a smooth side. Take the bumpy side and place it face down on the wrong side of your main piece. And you're going to take it to the ironing board and you're going to fuse it together. You're going to do the same thing for your lining. Place it with the wrong side facing up. Take your woven interfacing. Also has a bumpy side and a smooth side. Take it to the ironing board. Remember the bumpy side goes to the wrong side of the fabric. Take it to your ironing board and you're going to fuse them both together. And then I'll meet you back here. Okay, so now take the piece with the fusible fleece, which will be your main piece. And go ahead and mark the placement for your snaps. 
I just happen to be using plastic snaps for the video, but I used magnetic snaps in my first version of it. Um, so if you want to use magnetic snaps or if you want to use the snaps that you can sew in, now's the time to go ahead and mark the placement for those snaps, right? That's your three and one fourth on both ends. Go ahead and mark the placement for those snaps on both ends and then go ahead and add your snaps. So if you're using magnetic snaps or the snaps that you sew in or sew on, go ahead and sew on or place those magnetic snaps now using your tools. Um, but if you're using the plastic snaps like me, you can follow along with me in the video. Now, grab your pins and your two pieces. And you're going to place them with right sides facing. You're going to pin all the way around, making sure you leave an opening on one side. And I'm going to show you how I determine my opening. All right, so how I determine where I want to leave my opening, I fold this in half. And wherever the center is on one side, that's where I leave my opening. Because that's where I'm going to place my wristlet, right? And I'll show you how I place my wristlet once we get this sewn up. So that is my center. I'm just going to mark that right there with my pen just so I don't know. So I'll leave about a four to five inch opening. Right, so what you're going to do, you'll start at one pin, so all the way around and stop at the other pin, making sure you leave your opening in one side, whichever side you, you choose to leave your opening. All right. And we're going to sew around with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. All right, now that you've sewn around and left your opening, go ahead and clip your corners. Don't clip through the stitching but get as close as you can. And you can trim off some on the sides and the bottom if you like. I don't like to trim here where I left the opening because I need that seam allowance to um, fold in. It's kind of my guide. All right, so now let's turn this to the right side. Poke out your corners. You can use a point turner. I always just use my fingers. I've invested in point turners and just don't use them. <laughs> I'm sure it's a lot of sewing stuff I've invested in and don't use. Once you've turned this to the right side and poked out all your corners, then take it to the ironing board and give it a good press, making sure you fold in this seam allowance from your opening. All right, so now that you have everything nice and pressed, now take your pattern piece and use that as a guide where you marked up your three and one fourth, and then you're going to fold up your three and one fourth. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. And you take it to the ironing board and give it a good press. Be careful if you used um, 
your snaps, your magnetic snaps, or the ones that you sewed on, all right? So you fold it up your three and one fourth inch like that, and then you take it to the ironing board, give it a good press. Once you do that, grab your wristlet strap, take this in where you have the tabs, place it here in the center where you left your opening. And you're going to sew all the way around, closing up this opening. And if you did the magnetic snap or the sew on snap, you're done. All you got to do is snap it together. But if you're going to use the plastic snaps, we'll have that one last step. All right, so fold up your 3 and one four, give it a press, then place your wristlet strap in the opening you left, sew around. Closing up the opening and top stitching, and you're almost done. Okay, so after you've sewn all the way around, making sure that you placed your wristlet strap in the opening, you secured that in place. Now, if you're doing the plastic snaps like I'm doing, um, what you want to do, you all, you want to make sure you read the instructions that came with your snap ply pliers if you don't know how to use them already. So what I did, I've already placed one. So I found the center here. And I measured up one inch. And then I took my awl and I made a hole at that one inch mark. You have two sets, your um, male and female, and your smooth surface. You always want to make sure you put the smooth surface on the inside, all right? Because if you put it on the outside, it won't snap, all right? But your instructions should tell you how to do that. So I am just going to, all right, so we just find the center. It's three and a half. And this is where you need to be using your marking tools, not really eyeballing it like me. <laughs> right? Then measure up one inch. And then take your awl and poke your hole. Make sure you don't poke all the way through. You're only poking on the inside. Hopefully you can see that. You don't want to poke all the way through. All right? And take the smooth surface. Place it on the inside and poke it through that hole. Make sure you make your hole big enough. All right, I know you can't see my little pokey part there, but it's there. because of the fabric choice that I used, All right? And then take the other part of your snap, place it on top, and take your pliers. The smooth surface goes on this black part here. And you press. You press it. Make sure you press it enough um, so it will snap on both ends. All right. Right. Once you have placed both of your snaps, you can go ahead and close up your cell phone wallet. Oops. All right. You can give this a good press as well. And after you close it up, you're done. I'm going to take my cell phone and place it down in here. It fits perfectly. And I have the um, iPhone XR 
right not real sure what the measurements of it is but um, my phone fits perfectly right and you have your really cute cell phone wallet if you like this video click the thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post a new video and I'll see you in my next video